tell you about podcasting and what it means to me, because I was the one who was gone. Let me go back and start my story. The war had broken out in 9-11, and I'd gone in and out of active duty in the Air National Guard, and I found myself with about 15 years of active duty. Well, I had the opportunity to go back in the Army, where I started, and work on a special program. I was between Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, and Afghanistan, and Washington, D.C. Well, during that time, I was gone away from my family, but then in 2012, on December 7th, I came back to the United States, and that's where I discovered podcasts. I was the one that had gone. It was the podcast that brought me back. I had been 38 months in Afghanistan over a five-year period. All I wanted to do is decompress. And this is where I start my story about podcasting and how podcasting can help anybody who's been gone for a long while. In the TED Talk, The Power of Podcasting by Bo York, Bo speaks about the voices that he heard and why he stayed with podcasting and how they helped him become a better person. For me, they helped me become a healthier. He says over time that the voices he was hearing on podcasts were becoming his friends because he is becoming part of the conversation. That might be kind of weird, but like Bo says, it's common in the podcast community. It brings you a relationship, it brings you understanding, it brings you meaning. It allows you to go in any direction you want to. If you want to watch and listen to military personnel, they're there. If you want to listen to something on music or education, it's there. The podcast, along with some other things, brought me back. And that's why I can't say enough about podcasting. Now, I have a podcast myself, and I would encourage anyone who's been away or gone or not been around to tune in and listen to some podcasts. I did. It helped. It was wonderful. In closing, I started a podcast myself. It really helped me get going and heal. I got to meet a lot of people, do a lot of neat things. I didn't get rich, but I sure had a good time doing it. And I have wonderful memories from the podcast. Here's a little sketch from my website. And my first podcast was with my uncle. Uncle Earl Conrad from the Greatest Generation. Let's finish with listening to a little bit of that podcast. You know, it's been pretty good for your 95 years, though, other than the war. <laughs> yeah, we're awful lucky, Bill. Welcome to Timelines of Success, Episode 1. Today, we interview Earl Conrad. At 95 years old, he's part of the Greatest Generation. He grew up in the Depression in Huntington Beach during World War II.